Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today's video is going to be a 2024 footwear trend. So this is your boots, your shoes, all those good things. I wanted to do this video and I'm probably going to do two more videos to break it up so they're not too long. But in this video I'm going to show you guys what's trending, what you should get, what you shouldn't get if it's not your personal style. So let's get into the video. First, we're gonna jump into knee boots and thigh high boots. Those are always gonna be on trend, but this year they have suede ones, okay? If you're not a person who likes suede at all, I recommend investing in a lot of money in a suede pair of boots. If it's not your thing, don't do it. You can probably get something that is mixed suede and leather but if you don't like suede don't get it but over the knee boots are so on trend so Stodd has a really nice pair that's affordable i'm saying affordable and that's solely because a lot of the boots that i'm seeing now they're just not all leather guys and even though they're not all leather they're really expensive so the brands are playing with us okay so Stodd has a really nice pair i'll pop in the photo of those they're really cute the heel is low if you're not into low heels you'll probably like the next couple of boots but Stodd is a brand that has over the knee boots and they're super super cute guys so if you have a thicker thigh read the description and the details to see if that is actually going to fit your leg otherwise you're going to need something that has a little bit of elastic in it if not you can definitely get these the next pair is going to be from amina muwadi you guys know her boots are so expensive but she does have a nice over the knee boot that's really cute the heel is low um so again if you do like a lower heel you can look into these these are a little bit more pricier than the starred ones so keep that in mind when you're buying a boot and also like i said make sure you're looking at those details because if you're going to spend a ton of money on something you want to make sure the quality is great not just because it's a name brand quality first before anything so those are two pairs that are knee boots and when it comes to thigh high boots amina muwadi also has another pair so if you're not into that then don't get those but i think it's cute i'm not sure how they do with like walking um because we're used to like a slim heel it may be comfortable i'm not sure you girls comment below if you have a pair of her shoes she also does have a thigh high boot the next thing that's on trend are going to be riding boots riding boots to me have never went out of style i'm the girl who's gonna wear what works for her i don't care if people are wearing it i just whatever works for me i'm gonna wear it my goal is to look presentable every time i go outside so if that means i'm putting on some riding boots because i like them that's what i'm gonna do um but they're back in gucci has two pair they have an over the knee boot and they also have a regular like under the knee what i am noticing that it does say slim so i don't know if it's going to be able to fit i want to say like the average american girly because even though i'm slim i still have a bigger leg if you do have a bigger leg it's not going to work for you if you have a slim leg they probably be the boots for you <laughs> and when you look at the picture you could actually see how it is on the model's leg and how far it goes up on her leg she has small legs okay don't let these pictures fool you girls don't get caught up in the hype because the item looks like it's really slim and it may not fit the average girl but it gives you an idea of a really nice riding boot look at websites that actually have riding boots for horses okay like real riding boots People sleep on them. They're meant for riding horses. <laughs> so the way the calf is on the boot is shaped different. Um, some people may not like it, but I actually do like it. Like a slanted calf area. I'm going to see if I can pop in a photo. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. But if you don't want to spend as much as the Gucci ones, which I don't blame you. The other riding boot is going to be from Koss. Koss has really great quality. It seems like these particular boots come around year after year. I keep saying I'm going to grab them and every time I go to grab them because I wait, they're out of stock. <laughs> so they're more on the kind of relaxed side. They look like they have a really wide uh, calf area. So kind of read the details when you're looking into those. But I absolutely love them. I love the quality. I saw a pair of them in store recently. Didn't have my size. So I'll probably just go ahead and get them online. Comfortable boot that you can wear every single day, fall and winter. So 
check out Kaz. Again, they have really great quality. I have not been a Steve Madden girl for years. I didn't even know they carried a size 11 and 12 until recently. But these are actually really, really cute. Like, I'm looking at the quality of them. They look good. I'm sure they're not 100% leather, but looking at them, they look really good. And most importantly, they're affordable. Okay, girls? So if you want to dive into the riding boots era um, just a little bit and you don't want to spend a lot, definitely check out Steve Madden. So the next shoe trend for 2024 is going to be animal print. Now, if you're not an animal print girl, I would not recommend buying a coat, okay? A huge bag, um, anything that is going to be too loud for you, I would stick with maybe a pair of shoes and really pick the print that really works well with you. If you don't like zebra, don't go for zebra. If you don't like leopard, don't go for leopard. I do like the ones from Amina Muwadi. She does have a really nice zebra print pair of shoes. And they're not necessarily fall shoes, but you can still get away with them if you're going out at night. Very classic. It's a sling bag. It's a heel. Very, very chic. The other shoe is going to be from Loewe. Now, snake print is more my speed. The reason why I would choose snake print over leopard and cheetah and all that stuff is because snake skin is more classic than those are to me. I feel like if I have a snake skin pair of shoes, loafers, poop boots, whatever, I'm going to probably wear those forever. To me, it's almost like a neutral, if that makes sense, because the colors in snake skin are usually all neutral colors. Um, well, except for the ones that they actually add color to. But those are really like the exception to the rule. But in general, they do have classic colors. It's one of those pieces where I would gravitate towards more versus something leopard or zebra, if that makes sense. So Loewe has a really cute pair of um, pumps. And then you have Anthropologies. They have a cute pair of boots. Really nice. They're a low heel. It's like a throw on boot. Snakeskin. Love it. If you like snakeskin girls, go for that. Because I'm telling you, you'll probably get more wheels out of it as opposed to something that's loud like a zebra. But if zebra is your thing, definitely go for that. And then another boot with a heel that is snakeskin is going to be by Paris, Texas. Uh, those boots are kind of like mid price, um, around $600. So give those a look if you're interested in those. And I want to say Schutz, Schutz also has a pair. They're older, but I keep seeing them come around. But definitely the Paris Texas are really cute. They're more classic in like the silhouette of the boot. Nice heel. You can wear them often and you can wear them season after season. Well, this season, well, this fall, <laughs> and you can wear them for this fall and next fall. They're not going to go out of style. So choose the print that works well with you and that works well with your wardrobe. And you'll pretty much get your cost per wear for any boot that you deemed a, I guess you would say, a statement shoe this fall. If you like the video, make sure you are liking below. The next shoe trend is going to be ballerina heels. Okay, I was like, what is this on the runway? Like literally. And as I'm looking at the shoes, they look nice on the girls because they have on nice outfits, right? They have really nice chic outfits on on the runway. Not a fan of Mary Jane's and like ballerina shoes. They just make my feet look super big and super wide. But for the girls that can get away with it, I would say go for it. But to me, it's giving like kids shoes, you know? <laughs> like kitty shoes and they have some with straps and stuff but i did see a cute pair from Mew Mew. but i did see a cute pair from anthropologies and i actually like them now i'm gonna pop them in they have a little little bow at the front they're round toes and the heel is chunky my issue with shoes like this is the round toe i've tried them multiple times and for me it's not gonna work i just bought a pair of boots from Kaz that was round toe Mind you, I already bought a pair probably two years ago from Vince and I knew for sure that I wasn't going to like them because they were round toes and I was right. So when the boots came, I don't know, you know those kid boots that we used to, or those kid shoes that we used to, walking shoes. Remember walking shoes? If I can find a photo, I am going to pop it in. Round toe shoes remind me of kids walking shoes. If you know, you know. If you are a Gen X, <laughs> you already know about those walking shoes. The girls nowadays, I don't see many kids with walking shoes anymore, but that's what they look like. Paula just has a cute pair. I think with some jeans, some long jeans that look really cute and even like a, like a pleated skirt. 
super cute depending on your style but if you're into this definitely check those out j crew also has a pair as well so those are very very affordable if you're into them like i said some of them give chanel and some of them give kids shoes <laughs> so it really just depends on your style and the last like i guess ballerina heel would be from will be from Mew Mew. So these are a little bit more expensive, well a lot more expensive, but Mew Mew has them as well. So again, if you are really into them, you can go for the designer pair if that's what you want. But if you're not, go for something like the ones at Anthropologies or J. Crew. That way you get the trend, but not really breaking the bank. And the last thing is gonna be loafers. All right, so loafers are in guys. Personally, I don't think they ever went out of style. Because there was always going to be a group of people who like preppy clothes, people who wear them to work, but now the girls are wearing them. They feel like it's on trend, so let's go with that. Prada has a nice pair, but I am going to tell you, I'm, I'm not like a ride or die for Prada. And that's because a lot of their shoes, to me, look plastic. I like those, sh I don't, it just looks plastic to me. And I can't imagine paying for something that is like a plastic style shoe. They just look a little cheap to me in person. Um, but Prada does have a pair. I know the girls love a designer piece. So you have Prada and then you have regular ones from other brands. I'll pop in some here that are just, just as cute. Okay. If you do not want to spend a ton of money, go for the other brands. If you are a person who loves penny loafers, okay, then you get the pair that you want. But I would say go for something that isn't a platform. That way you can have them for a long time. Platforms are in and out. So if you want to get the best cost per wear, go for something that is more classic in the silhouette, even if you got something that's name brand. I hope that helps you guys. So those are five or six different shoe trends for this fall. But let me know what you guys think about any of these choices. Are you going to wear any of these? So there are other shoes on, on the list for 2024 fall shoes, but I didn't add them. I just wanted to add some that I would deem to be like an essential style shoe for your wardrobe. That way you're not like inundated with a bunch of ideas and then you start buying things that you absolutely do not need. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles styles and why and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my style services coco styles and why.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys